Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see SC200 Microsoft Security Operation Analyst Lab 6 and in this video we will configure Microsoft Sentinel environment. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal so we'll initialize the Microsoft Sentinel deployment. To do that we will log on to portal.azure.com and in this I will search for Microsoft Sentinel. Like this, you will click on it, create Microsoft Sentinel. It will add, it will ask you to add a Microsoft Sentinel to a workspace. You will create a new workspace by clicking it here, or you can click here as well. You will create a new resource group. name it anything as okay it will look if this name is available or not okay west us or you can select any other region i'm not going for any box any specific tag it will uh, run the final validation and you will click on create it will now start deploying the a resource group and then it will deploy a workspace and then we'll onboard Sentinel onto it. Let me just pause the video and come back. All right, now this is on boarded here. And now we'll add this. All right, so you'll click on add. It is adding the Microsoft Sentinel to this workspace. All right, you'll see a message which says successfully added Microsoft Sentinel. It might take a few minutes for your workspace to appear in Microsoft Sentinel workspace list, but that's okay. They say Microsoft Sentinel free trial activated. The free trial active on this workspace from this to this. During that trial period, up to 10 GB per day are free for both. Sentinel and log analytics data beyond the 10 GB per day included quantity will be built. So you can check out more about pricing on Microsoft documentation. Now that we have deployed Microsoft Sentinel or we have created it or onboarded it onto a workspace, now we will create a watch list, okay? To do that, you are under uh, Microsoft Sentinel, so you will search for watch list and you'll click on the watch list okay now what is a watch list microsoft sentinel watch list enables the collection of data from external data sources that you configured through data connectors for correlation against the events in your microsoft sentinel environment once you have created a watch list we'll leverage watch list in the search detection rules threat hunting workbooks and response playbooks how will that work we will create a new watch list by adding a new watch list from here and we'll follow the steps from the on-screen instructions to follow the wizard, right? We'll receive a notification in the notifications area within the Azure portal that watch list was created. Watch lists are stored within Microsoft Sentinel workspace as name value pairs and are cached for optimal query performance. Okay, so I'll, I'll click on add new. I'll give this watch list a name. Okay, watch list one, description, I'll put on the, uh, the name. So we can do high value host, we can do everything here okay and now you click on here now it will say source type if you will click on local file or file type so you will have to upload a file by clicking on browse for file so let me just create a file here i'll pull up notepad
okay in notepad i'll click on host one host so i'll do host name then i'll do host one host two host three host four host five okay i'll save this file by the name of high value and i'll keep it save it with the name dot csv and we'll save this file okay i'll close this now i'll browse for files i'll go to that location to pick up that file okay the file is here and now it will ask me now in the search key field i'll type host name and now next review and create i'll click on create it is creating the watch list now important thing is it could take up to 10 minutes for the watch list to appear we'll have to you know we'll have to continue and will you will use the command in your kql statements to access this watch list right and then you will make use of it so th this is showing here for now right see it is still evaluating it so it takes time and if you will click on view and logs it will use the same workspace that you used to onboard to your uh, microsoft sentinel okay now get watch list high value host now if you will see it is it is running my query and it will give me the result it may not give the result because it might take up to 10 minutes right so let me just pause the video see let me just pause the video for now and uh, let give it some time to see the result so if i go under the watch list this is the watch list and if i click on view in logs let's see what it gives us it will have the queries here running my query here let's wait for it to populate the results here you see now we are getting the results okay so i hope this video was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day